All right, so hey guys, hola, and welcome to Bilbao. So today and tomorrow, we'll be in the uh, north of Spain for making my way back to Biarritz and back to the UK on Sunday. So um, yeah, it should be a pretty good uh, two days out. And so to start off my day today, I've signed up to a free tour and basically there'll be a guy from the uh, hotel I'm at who will give us uh, a guide around the city basically. So up and down the river, I believe as well as a couple of the um, local hotspots. So that should be a bit of fun. And um, yeah, I'm quite excited for the uh, city. I mean, last night, fair enough, walked in through uh, midnight, so I wasn't expecting too much, but it's been pretty good so far. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. people does the stadium fits? In, in the stadium 43,000 people. 43,000. It's about the same size as Stamford Bridge. Yeah, nice. more or less, yeah. How many in the Wimbledon? Uh, Wimbledon. That's more like... Okay, that's... 80. Wimbledon or Wembley? Wembley, sorry. Wembley, that's 90,000. 90? Wembley's 90. So big. Right, okay, so my tour brings me to an end right outside the stadium of Athletic Bilbao. They're currently drawing 1-1 against um, El Deportivo, I believe it is, in the uh, local Basque Derby. But um, yeah, the tour's really nice. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I think now I'm going to try and go find my way to the uh, viewpoints, just at the top of the city. So um, yeah, it should be a bit of fun, that. Just I've got to figure out where on earth I am and how to get there. In 10 minutes to go, people are now leaving the stadium. Doesn't sound like it's going pretty well in there at the moment. Keep out for sure. Right, so just ahead of me is the entry station for the uh, famous train bill bell that goes up a 45 degree angle like uphill. Climbs up a mountain basically on the edge of the city and from the top of it you get a view of the entire area so I have to give it a go. Tickets going one way is less than a euro so you can't really uh, say no to that either but uh, yeah just that building right ahead of me at the end of the road. Slightly a closed off area but um, no, the views when you get to the top of it from what I've seen and what I've heard very much worth the journey so uh, yeah fun, 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 Funicula, funicula de Alexander Co Funiculara. As you can tell, my Spanish, in this case it could also be, um, what's it called? Basque. 
Um, yeah, not quite up to scratch. Anyways, uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Right, so I bought the ticket, and we're now outside the uh, station itself. A very weird train, this 45 degrees going up and 45 degrees going down. So, uh, we'll find somewhere to sit, and uh, yeah, let's go up. So how was that for a train? Not a very long journey, but a uh, 45 degrees angle going up and right to the top of Bilbao. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the uh, mountain name is on this side, but uh, yeah, it really is a... It looks beautiful up here. If I just quickly show you the, uh, the view down there, the city of Bilbao down below, I mean, on a clear day, this would be stunning. It's stunning right now. It seriously is, but... Um, I'm sure that if the day was also uh, a bit sunnier, then um, we'd enjoy that a bit more as well. But uh, it really is a, a whole different area of Basque country. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that I'm spending two days here, but uh, it's a bit longer than I spend in most places, so I'm not complaining with that. Uh, anyways, let's go see what the uh, top of the hill has. Uh, the, 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 the. Let's see what the top of the hill has for us, shall we? <laughs> How is that for a view? I don't know if this beats Kragstotten in Oslo, Norway, but it certainly comes close. This has to be one of the uh, one of the better views I've got to see. I mean, uh, surrounded by all these Bilbao signs as well, that enclose the uh, entire area. It really is a, a splendid place. Just kind of uh, come have a break, sit down on the bench again, especially on a sunny day when there's no clouds or something which I'm told is only about 45 sunny days the entire year so good luck playing that but um, no seriously this has to be uh, again up there one of the nicer views I've got to uh, enjoy in my lifetime Actually, I'm doing them so young <laughs> now I'm sure there's a there's a lot more I'm going to see in this planet but uh, for now sticking to Europe there really are some stunning places to come and see which don't cost too much either I mean this entire trip has cost me uh, let's say £20 for the uh, flights to Biarritz, £20 for a hotel two nights, well, postal, <laughs> and um, it's also about £15 euro, sorry, for the uh, yeah, 15 20 euro return from Biarritz to Bilbao on the bus, so uh, not bad, it's not bad overall, and um, yeah, staying in Europe as well, it's not too expensive or anything else either. So, where now? do we head off to in this uh, wonderful, wonderful country. So I'm now at the uh, rooftop penthouse suite of the hotel I'm at and um, yeah I think I'm gonna call it a day now so it's a little bit early than I'd normally do actually I'll be honest. Normally I'd go out to the uh, sunset and stay out for a bit at night as well. But bearing in mind that yesterday going to Stansted Airport was a very early wake up Plus I had the um, two days full of just walking. I think uh, you call it a night, take a bit of a break. Maybe go out in the uh, night hours as well, just kind of see what the nightlife's like here. But for the most part, I think I'm just gonna take it a bit easier today because tomorrow I'm gonna spend the majority of the day in um, Bilbao again. We're heading back to Biarritz a little bit and then flying back to um, London, which means tonight we'll get a chance to figure out what Bilbao has and if there's anything in particular I kind of wanna see before I do uh, head back home some stuff like you can't miss it while you're here so um yeah i think it's been a pretty good day actually these last two days have been really good and bilbao especially it's been a great city it's been a great city and definitely uh for me redeemed itself like i say coming in last night in the middle of the night very tired no idea where i was could have been a better night but um yeah, for the most part it's been really good it's been really good i'm glad i've come here so uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the vlog 
do leave a like if they do subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.